Soon it's Halloween and therefore I present you this recipe, the Halloween chocolate witch kettle. It's a nice dessert where I use the Belle Origins Noir Peru 64. It's an origin chocolate with a, a fruity taste, acidity but not that sweet and it's perfect to combine with mango, clove and cinnamon. What I will show you today is to make a short crust with some cinnamon. On top there is a chocolate mousse with the chocolate I just presented, as well the glaze and then we will fill it up to the center also with a soft chocolate sponge and also a fruit salad with mango. And of course I will not forget how to show you also to make this chocolate decoration for Halloween. So stay tuned. For this dessert we are also going to need a short crust. That's why we will mix together butter, brown sugar, baking powder, cinnamon, salt, vanilla and egg together and at the end some flour. Then I will leave it to set in the fridge overnight. The next day I will roll it out to approximately 3 mm thickness. We will cut it out with a serrated dough cutter. We bake it on top of a silk pan for approximately 10 to 12 minutes at 170 degrees centigrade. With this we are going to make a soft chocolate sponge. First of all, we will melt some Belle Colada Origins Noir Peru 64 together with some butter. Then I will whip up some sugar with eggs. We will bring those two mass together with a spatula. And then at the end we will also incorporate some flour. But to make it even more light, we will also add at the end a little bit of whipped egg white. We put the mass on a tray to bake and we will bake the sponge for about 12 minutes at 190 degrees centigrade. For the chocolate mousse, we are going to use the Belle Colade Origins Noir Peru 64. We are going to make first a custard with egg yolk, milk, cream. We put some clove powder for the taste. And this when we have 85 degrees, we pour this composition on top of the dark chocolate. We mix it into a ganache. And when the ganache reaches 35 degrees centigrade, I am also going to add some semi-whipped cream. We're going to mix everything with a spatula to obtain an homogeneous chocolate mousse and then we're going to fill up these silicone molds. We will freeze it, we will demold it and then later on I will also glaze it with chocolate glaze. In this step, I will show you how to make 
a dark chocolate glaze. A shiny one, but also a good tasting chocolate one. Therefore, we will use the Belcolade Selection Noir 55 cacao glaze. First, we start to boil some milk and glucose together. We put it on top of the chocolate. I also add a little bit of cocoa powder and red coloring. We mix it. Then I will also add my soaked and melted gelatin. And finally, we will also put some Puratos Miroir L'Original Neutral. We mix everything with an immersion blender at 40 degrees centigrade and I leave it to cool down until the next day. Once it's cooled down until the next day, we will reheat it to approximately 38 degrees centigrade and then we will apply it onto our, our dessert. For the mango fruit filling, we are going to make it very easy. I have here diced, fresh cutted mango pieces. We are going to mix it with some Puratos Miroir L'Original Neutral, some lemon juice, passion fruit and mango puree. We just mix everything together and then afterwards, when you are finishing the dessert, I will scoop a bit of this fruit salad into the middle of my dessert. For the decoration of my Halloween dessert, I will also make the lid of the kettle. And therefore, I will put tempered chocolate in between two sheets of plastic. I will flatten it out with a plastic rolling pin. And then I will cut it out with a dough cutter. When it starts to set, I will also roll it around a metal bar and we leave it to crystallize. And then we can demold it and put it on top of the chocolate dessert. But to make it a bit more scary as well for Halloween, I will also put two chocolate eyes just between the chocolate lid and also the dessert. Watch how I do it. Now we are ready for the finishing. So all the preparations are done. I have my cookie. I also have the chocolate sponge. I have my glaze reheated to 38 degrees. I will also mix it before applying on top of my chocolate mousse. Then we will put the glazed chocolate mousse on top of the cookie. In the middle, I will put also a sponge. And then the center, I will fill it up with my fruity mango filling. And then of course, I will also decorate it with the Halloween chocolate decorations. This Halloween witch kettle is finished and in this application we have used the Belcolade Origins Noir Peru 64. 
We made a chocolate sponge with this chocolate. We also made a chocolate mousse and also the glaze is made with this delicious origin chocolate from Belgium. So we have here a short crust with cinnamon. In the chocolate mousse we also have added some clove powder together with the Belgrade Origins Peru 64. In the center we have this soft chocolate sponge and also it has been filled up with a mango fruit filling. And as well, this has been decorated with Halloween decorations. So I hope you like this dessert. See you next time and have a great Halloween. Take care. Bye.